Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to Berlin and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day. These are your favorite videos and I get it. I also love those videos. Today though, we have to spice it up. We have to try a few new recipes. It's Sunday. I can't go grocery shopping, so we have to use what I have at home. Let's see what we can make. Oh, but I'm really inspired. I want to try some new things. I'm bored of eating the exact same every single day. I'm actually not bored, but I want to spice it up. <laughs> I mean, I love my meals every day. But today we spice it up together. Starting though with coffee as always. This is a must in the morning. And some water. Remember that this video is not about calories. It's not about what to eat to lose weight, gain weight. It is not about that. It's also not for you to compare yourself. This What I Eat in the Day video is here to try new recipes together, to find out that food is so much more than just numbers and calories. Food is fun. Food is making connections with friends, experimenting, getting creative. There are so many reasons why food is so much more than calories. So let's find it out together and let's have fun a little bit together. <laughs> All right, for breakfast. What can we find today for breakfast? I'm gonna spice things up with a savory breakfast today. Usually I always eat something sweet. I'm gonna make avocado eggs. Um, a few cucumber slices. Have you ever made feta eggs? Maybe I have to show you. You need a little bit of feta cheese. I have some leftovers. A little bit of feta cheese, eggs. It's gonna blow your mind. This recipe is so good. Of course, I have seen it on TikTok. Wow, just adding it to the pan. And I don't, I don't have a deckle lid. I think it's lit. So I just put on a plate. And then in the meantime, I should prep the avocado and the cucumber. So I just let it cook in there a tiny bit. Oh, it already gets a bit brown. So you have to hurry up. It already gets a bit brown, the cheese. Now you just take some eggs and you put it in the middle. And you can choose if you want to have one egg or if you are a little bit extra hungry, then you might need two eggs. Shit, there's an eggshell in it. I think I'm fine for now with one egg, but sometimes I prefer two eggs, you know? Mm. And put on the plate again. Almost done. Okay. What is it done? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I almost overcooked it. I want the egg yolk to be runny. We can't wait that long, you know? <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed here. The cucumber on the side. <laughs> I don't have bread here today, which is why I'm using these lentil cakes. You can also use rice cakes. I just do two of these rice cakes and then I'm adding some avocado. And then we mesh it. And now comes the best part. <gasps> it turned out perfect. It turned out absolutely stunning and perfect and beautiful. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of spice and this is my breakfast. 
Wow, look at us. We made a new breakfast, a new savory breakfast. And I'm actually really excited. The egg, the egg looks almost fake. It doesn't look real, right? But yummy, 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 yummy. I'm so excited for this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The egg is a bit too well cooked. Sometimes when I make this, it's still runny. It's still delicious. I destroyed it. Oops. I put it now on the lentil cake. And now the crunchiest moment of the Sunday morning. Mm. A little cucumber slice. I've seen a few comments on my short videos and either people making fun of me or they questioning why I always close my eyes when I take a bite of food. And I just, I just notice now that I really do that. When I take a bite, I close my eyes. I try to keep it open now, but that's kind of weird. Mm. Are you not closing your eyes when you're taking a bite of some delicious food? Is this normal what I'm doing? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My new thing while eating breakfast is reading. And I have a book recommendation. But this is in German. I don't know if there's an English version. It's called Hirn and Hupen. And the translation is Brain and Boobs. Brain and Boobs, it's two girls talking about the body of a woman. But really, they talk about everything. They talk about our boobs, our insecurities, our vaginas, our everything, and about struggles and problems that we have as women, but nobody really talks about. Things that make us feel insecure when we're having sex. And it's just such an honest and open conversation in the book, which I absolutely love. And I don't know, it inspires me a bit more to talk about certain things, taboo topics, also in my podcast. I don't know, I love it. I love this book, so I highly recommend it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna finish breakfast now, read a little bit. I think then I might make another cup of coffee, special coffee with almond milk, and then I do a quick workout. Mm -hmm. Done here. Let's remove these eye patches now. Do eye patches work is a good question. I don't know, I mean, it feels good. It feels good, it feels fresh, especially when you put those eye patches first in the fridge, and then in the morning you put it on, it's just cold. And I think it takes a little bit of the swollen eyes and it gives you our dark eye circles, a little bit of hydration. I talked to a doctor, like a skin doctor, a dear, Matologa, dermatologist in English. And she actually said that, yeah, these eye patches, they make a tiny, tiny, tiny little difference and they have a tiny little positive good effect on your skin. But what actually really works, she said, is um, these stone massages. Have you ever seen that? When people do like these stone massages, I don't know the exact word right now because I'm not doing it. But she said, yeah, of course, it's good in the morning if your face is puffy and swollen, you just massage the water out. I just do it with my hands now. Mm. You know what kind of stones I mean, right? I hope. So for the coffee, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of almond milk into my milk former coffee thing. Um, and how we're gonna make that is by just putting it in. I can't see a little bit more. That is fine. We close it, we add then some coffee. And that's it. Oh my God. It doesn't work with this kind of milk. That's okay. Wow, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not really inspiring. It really depends what kind of milk you're using. 
The milk that I was using today just does not work at all. So there is no form. But anyways, I still like it. It's still, it's still okay. After this coffee, I want to do a quick workout. I um, work out with weights because I haven't done any workouts with weights the whole week. I'm still doing this free to one workout plan, free home workouts, two running sessions a week, and I go to one Pilates class every single week, which is six days a week of training, and then I have one rest day. I just love this new plan. It motivates me, and just it's it's a little extra spice this time. It's like from just doing home workouts to home workouts with a little bit of running and Pilates. I love this training plan. Gonna do a workout, and then later. I have to go to, um, yeah, like a half marathon. I'm not running the half marathon, but a lot of my friends are running the half marathon and I'm going to cheer them on. I'm like, run, run, run. I'm just there to cheer, which is also fun. Now let's clean up this mess and try to get everything done in the next hour. Very optimistic. <laughs> Oh I have to run. It is so hard to get through the city today because of this half marathon. It's so damn hard. It's blocked everywhere. Oh my God, it took me, it took me ages and I don't want to miss my friends. They are, oh, they are running through the place where we want to meet them. They are there really, really soon. So I really have to hurry up. Oh, I hope I don't miss them. Wow. So I was running there. I was screaming. My my throat hurts. <laughs> and then I woke back now and I'm 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 done. And I'm really hungry. So what do we make is the question. What do I have left in my fridge? Hmm. I have some some um chickpeas left. <laughs> some more feta cheese. Beetroot. Carrots. A lot of, lot of, lot of herbs. I do have some leftover rice, but I don't know if this is coming together with the rice. What can I make with rice and rice, not fries, rice, rice. Oh my God, what can I make with rice? I also have some avocado left. With the chickpeas, I'm actually thinking of making hummus. And then I can have the carrot sticks in. I have some olives here. I would have some more eggs. Hmm. 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 Watch me making beetroot hummus. Hummus. I've never done this before, but I know that for hummus you need chickpeas. I know that you need tahini, tahini, tahini. And for beetroot hummus, I guess you need beetroot. I take half of this package, so three of those, or maybe four because it's little ones. So four little ones. So then we add the chickpeas and then we add some tahini, tahini. I hope that's enough. I did like one big tablespoon. I guess that's good. What I do now is there's some of this beetroot juice. I just add this as well to make it a bit more liquid. And now we mix it, we blend it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is not working like this. I think it needs a little bit more liquid. I'm just adding a little bit of water, just a tiny little bit. my ears. I made my first beetroot hummus. Mm. I forgot the spices. <laughs> I forgot to add some salt, salt, pepper, 
but the rest is good. A little bit of garlic and a little bit of Kreuzkümmel. Every hummus needs Kreuzkümmel. And I think a little bit more salt. And then I blend it again. Way better. Mm, wow. Way better. <gasps> I could eat this like a soup. I'm gonna show you the final result in a second. But what I'm gonna do is I use all my leftover vegetables, carrots, cucumber, tahini. And do you know these fancy bowl places where you pay, I don't know, $25 for a bowl or maybe $20, I don't know. But you know, the fancy places that I mean. We recreate one of these fancy bowls. So they always add, yeah, some fresh, they always, they always start with a base. That's what I know. They always start with, you can choose if you eat a one and a half quinoa or rice. We have leftover rice here, so that's the base. Some vegetables, whatever we can find. We can be our own fancy bowl place. And the cool thing is you can use all the leftovers that you have in your fridge. I also love to use all my leftovers. That's just so much fun when I see it all gets used and I actually eat it. Just one, one thing I have to show you in case you haven't seen it in one of my other vlogs, because I think I already filmed it once. I make my own noodles, tahini noodles. So my base today is a little bit of tahini noodles, just like half of a tahini. And then half of the bowl is rice, a little bit of cucumber, some carrots. Mm -hmm. I have a little special tip, last but not least, before I finish off this amazing bowl, black sesame seeds. If you think your meal doesn't look aesthetic, just add a few black sesame seeds and it looks immediately Instagrammable. Wow, this is so pretty. The final result is here. Wow, looks so good. I decided to go outside and eat on the balcony because it's a beautiful day. I just want to eat outside. Wow. I forgot to show you, but the dressing is apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of olive oil. My balcony, unfortunately, is still really empty. I don't have a table here. I don't have chairs here. It's it's empty. It's nothing here. Just this chair I put, I put up. Mm. This hits different. So good. I can't talk right now because I'm in heaven. I'm in hummus heaven. You know, I had two options today. I actually wanted to stay inside and eat in front of my laptop probably, but going outside, doing nothing else than just eating here and enjoying it was the best decision ever. I guess that's what mindful eating means. I guess that's it. This is what mindful eating means. Hmm, it's kind of fun. And I know that this is not possible every single day, but you know, when it's possible, then I want to do it. When I have the time, then I want to do it. And I want to sit here and I just want to enjoy it. <sighs> oh, one more coffee, double espresso and almond milk. And then I have this, <laughs> this lemonade. I don't know if we can call it lemonade, but I made these ice cubes in winter. And I made it with lemon, ginger, and I think that was it. It was just lemon and ginger. And they are in my freezer since months. So today I just put it into my water. And it's a little bit like, yeah, fresh lemon ice cubes. It's really yummy. Mm. And you know what I do now? I sit here and I'm gonna read a book. I keep reading this book that I showed you this morning. <laughs> I don't know when the last time was that I was sitting in the sun and I was just reading. Hmm, I'm so grateful, so grateful that I have a place right now where I can sit and it's quiet and I'm safe and I'm free. This is beautiful and I'm very, very grateful for it. It's dinner time and I'm gonna be honest from the beginning on, I did not make this dinner myself. 
I ordered. <laughs> I ordered food. Berlin food. There are so many amazing places and I haven't even tried half of it. So today I ordered Korean. I'm starting off with the soup. So they sent me soup. They sent me some small dishes. And then I ordered this bowl of bulgogi, bulgogi beef. I need to check if this is the right name. No, um, I'm going to check later. I love how they sent a small little cup of soup. Mm. So after reading my book, the day was gone so quick. I did a little bit of cleaning. I was cleaning the apartment. I was working. I was editing thumbnails. And then I uploaded a few Insta stories and suddenly the day was over. And then I got so hungry. And I looked into my fridge and I was like, what could I make now? And I thought, no, not another zucchini fries, sweet potato fries and ketchup day. I was craving something Korean. Oh, bibimbap, bulgogi. Bibimbap is the name of this bowl. Hmm. The soup was so good. They also sent small dishes like that. I have no idea what it is. It smells like kimchi, but why is it white? Why is it white? Is it white kimchi? Mmm. Mmm. It is sweet. Hmm. Hmm. I actually wanted to put this whole bowl into this bowl so it looks a bit more fancy, but I don't know how to transfer it. And I don't want to mess it up because it looks so pretty. Hmm. I might just leave it in this bowl. That's not going to work. So I just put it in here. Ah. And then they sent some soy sauce, but I think I also get some sriracha because usually it comes with a bit of sriracha sauce. Mm. You know what would be really good? An egg on top. I missed to order that. I could make it myself now, but I think this is enough food. It comes with tahini, some salad on the side here, a lot of rice underneath, and also some fermented foods. I have no idea what this brown thing is. Mmm, tastes like mushrooms. Wow, it's really good. Out of all cuisines, what is your favorite one? Like. Is it Italian? Is it Greek? Is it German? Is it Austrian? Is it Japanese? Hmm, that's a really hard question actually. I don't know what my favorite cuisine is. Maybe it's Korean. What's tough with this Korean meal is if you want to recreate it, you need a lot of different things. So it's not just meat and rice. You need a lot of small dishes. But that's what makes it so special. I feel like every single bite is so different. And it's so spicy. <laughs> the correct way to eat this is actually to, well, before eating, you should mix it like crazy. That's what I've learned in Korea. I'm slowly also getting full. Mm. Can you hear the sounds? It's from the sriracha. What are you doing? So after this, it's time for an everything shower today. I need an everything shower, like I really need it. I need to shave my legs. I want to exfoliate because I also want to tan. Yeah, the everything shower probably will take some time. I should plan an hour for it. <laughs> yeah, then I want to clean a tiny little bit more. I have these two neighbors on the opposite and I don't know, they must be into TikTok or they film any other content, but they have this ring light on every single time when I look over at night and then they start to film. <laughs> it is something with makeup and hair because she's always doing something with hair and makeup. Hmm. Who is my neighbor? Who is it? Maybe it's another YouTuber? Mm. Okay. Finished. 
you know, before going to bed, I need something sweet. And how cute is this little bowl that I found? Oh, in a heart shape. This is the last thing that I'm eating today. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like my ice cream. It is vegan soy yogurt with some protein powder. I always use the vegan protein powder and then I mix it because then it gets a really thick consistency. And then I add some frozen strawberries, frozen raspberries and a little bit of protein bar. Mm, this is so good. I'm in heaven. I want to watch one YouTube video or something on Netflix. This is the first time today that I sit down and watch something online. The whole day I didn't do anything, just listening to music. I listened to some music while cleaning the apartment, but I also had so many quiet moments today and peaceful moments without anything. And it felt good. You know what, we should try that together. We should try sometimes to be offline and not get stimulated all the time. We don't listen to podcasts, we don't watch YouTube videos, we don't watch Netflix, we don't scroll on social media. Sometimes we just have to be with ourselves. We should practice that. I'm all the way for watching YouTube videos because you also watch this video now and I also consume a lot of YouTube content. It can also be inspiring and motivating, but sometimes it's important that you are with yourself just with yourself and just with your own thoughts. With that said, I'm gonna eat this now. I give you a hug and I say good night. Mm -hmm. Big hug. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. It sounds like it's going to get rowdy tonight. That's what I'm hearing. I have to tell you the one-star reviews that brought me to this place. Jamie J said, Mini dunks on property. Rocky, that boy got something wrong with him, I swear. You was fire. One star. <laughs> I hope I meet Rocky today. That's the plan. Jamie, I Good don't night. know what Rocky did to you, but I'm excited. Ich hab to meet euch lieb. Riley said, Shared